M0FXB, just a quick one here before I close down. We have this firmware here by Manuel. I know it's all in French. You may be able to convert this to English. I have downloaded the file. There is a, a, a different CPS or programming software for this. That I'll show you in a sec. And there is a manual. In this manual page here, we have the firmware download. You click here and it downloads the bin file that you can see there. And underneath, you've got the programming software. So let's quickly chuck it onto our UVK5 camouflage style and uh, have a quick look, and then we'll close down for the night. So we're on COM9, as you can see here. So we're going to go COM9 connect. Then we're going to select the firmware by clicking the three dots here. Select. We've got it in our download. There it is there, and then we're going to update, and it's, yeah, definitely going to the radio, <laughs> like so, and then we'll quickly, I think, read from the radio with the firmware on, just so you can see this unusual CPS that comes with this. So that's gone in, click OK, just turn it off and on. IJV mod. Quickly see the menu. Similar to the original menu. Okay. I'm going to play too much with that tonight. And let's have a look at the programming software. Just click it. This is the software here. More info. Run anyway. Serial port 9. Oh, there is an error. error. Access denied. So I think we'll leave it as that for tonight. It's clear. Try again. KG prog win. The radio is on. Let's just check the cables in properly. Let's close it down, rerun it, run anyway, 9, hmm, it says 5, right click device manager, definitely not 5, it's 9, so not really sure what, what it is, but I haven't used it, have I? So you just scroll down and look at some screenshots, then we'll finish the video. So it's manual firmware IJV. Here it is here. COM3 open. Ah, the board rate. That's what it will be. Let me just check the board rate on mine. The way you do that, the COM's connected. So we right click device manager. Ports right click properties there's the board rate on mine and let's see which one it says on the software again we're just learning now it's definitely three eight four hundred so let's do that right click device manager port right click Properties, port, 38400, click OK. Right, still 9, close. Com, 9. Now we've still got the same error. Well, if we try it, let's just scroll down. This is what we should be looking for. But when we have got it, what happens? You know, that's what I'd like to know. You know, what is the thing that we get? Here's some details. Unlock crossband TX VFO. Key lock monitor. Battery safe. So the symbols are a little bit different. Second function. That's the function button. Receive TX. Scan list. Apparently, I've been told the scan list 
is still included in this version. Commander CTCSS AM, narrow bandwidth, low power, TX power symbol E, shift, reverse DCS. I'm not seeing loads new, but still excellent. Anyone that puts a lot of work into something, you've got to say well done and thank you. It takes a lot of time. So for the French people, they might like this one. Here's the menu. Squelch step mode, wider narrow, TX power, everything as before. Backlight time, yeah, they've done that so you can turn it on. What's com I don't really know what compound compound is. Scramble repeat tail, Vox. Someone else might spot something. Dual receive on and off. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. This is the secret menu here. Squelch. Side FM radio. Oh yeah, you can choose what your side buttons do. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. Scrolling on, what does it say? Meters. Oh, they've got single mode on this. I don't think I've seen single mode. On, a, on one of these, unless there is. So single mode is, let's have a look here, we're well, not French of course. VFO F and two. Let me just try that. It's not the clearest image, but you go F two, single receive. Hold it down. A and B band. Let's try memory. Yeah, cool. Okay then, more tomorrow. Bye for now.